Hi, I'm Rachel Donegan. I am the Howe Libraries Emerging Technologies Librarian, and I am here to show you how to make something every week. This is Howe Makers. Hi, and welcome back to Howe Makers. Today I am making visual diaries. That's what I call them anyway. I don't know what else to call them, but they're sort of like a bunch of pictures that relate to a certain event, and they're mostly illustrations. I guess that's a way to describe it. So one that I made at the early days of the pandemic um, is this one here. And of course I was stuck at home and I was doing some baking. There's some baking here. I was uh, right here, I was making masks. Um, this one says neglected exercise equipment. Um, my daughter and I were playing a lot of basketball, but we accidentally broke the backboard of the, so that kind of became like a whole story. Um, and we would take long, long walks to get milk and eggs, the dairy up the road. So I just sort of made pictures of all these things, and it was kind of fun. I kind of kept adding to it over the over different days. Um, I kind of think of something else, and I'd wedge in one more drawing in the corner. So it was kind of a fun project. Um, this is another one I made um, a while ago. This is a granola recipe, or rather, it's a formula for granola. So it tells you how much of different things to put in. So it's kind of a formula, like one part this, three parts this. Um, and you can combine things in different ways and have a different batch of granola all the time, which I really like that idea. So this is on my fridge. So when I do these kinds of drawings, I like to have some heavy paper, preferably watercolor paper, and a nice sharp pencil with an eraser, and a black pen. So I like the sharpie fine point, um, or extra fine point rather, and I also really like these Muji gel pens. Um, They're really great. And so what I do is I first start with pencil and make sure I like my drawing and uh, I can erase things when it's still in pencil. And then when I like everything, I go back over it in pen, and then I go back and I erase all the pencil. And then the final step is coloring it. So I like to use colored pencils or watercolors. So Maeve is also doing a visual diary right now, but she's doing it on an iPad with an Apple Pencil. And the app she's using is called Procreate, which is a really nice drawing app. It's really very powerful. It's $10 on the App Store, but I think it's worth it because um, just the sheer number of brushes you have and the things you can do with this app are really, really, really cool. So here is a visual diary that I started back in early April. I decided I wanted to make a record of what I ate um, as far as wild plants. So I like to forage and find wild plants to eat. and. Uh, but I often forget when the different plants are going to be out. So I thought I might give myself a little, a little reminder. And once I make this, I can refer back to it. So I have a dandelion and I ate some sorrel, both in early April. There's my fiddleheads May 1st, ramps May 11th, and I'm just about to add a morel. So I just started drawing that right now. And we'll check back in a little bit. Here I am so far, I just got finished with inking what I have so far. And I realized this is one I can't really complete right now. I've left room um, because there's a lot more plants that I'm going to eat this season. So um, I'm going to go ahead and find my colored pencils and um, color these in a little bit. Here is my visual diary all colored in. So there's my dandelion, my fiddleheads. I really like how my ramps came out and my morels there. So I'm very excited about how this is coming out so far. Um, and again, I have lots of space to add some more plants as I find them and eat them. So my idea was that I'm gonna array all of the breakfast foods from the ones I like the best to the ones that I like the least. So I'm gonna do oatmeal and cereal and toast and foods like that. So I finished and this is what it looks like. I have six different breakfast foods here, so oatmeal, cereal, toast, grapefruit, pancakes, and no breakfast. So I drew little pictures and gave them their scores and then did the scale at the bottom. Thanks for watching. Hope you're inspired to do some art like this yourself. 
Um, journal about whatever you're doing right now or your favorite recipe or rate your favorite foods, um, your favorite lunches. Um, maybe your parents would appreciate that. Then they'll know what to cook for you, right? All right, see you next time. Bye. <laughs> Bye.